today I went to H Mart, which if you don't know is a Korean market and there's one close to my church. So this morning it's Sunday and it's 5.07 p.m. Uh, after I went to church, I drove to H Mart and I picked up a few things um, that I want to share. So, and I'm really hungry. So I was hoping maybe you'd be interested in like making it with me. I've actually never made this before, but I've watched so many videos that I think I could probably do it in my sleep. So I would love if you could join me. Um, yeah, let's get started on the H Mart haul. Okay. First things first. Rice cakes. Red pepper powder. Hot pepper paste, which maybe I can open it and show you what it looks like. I believe the majority of people that are subscribed to my channel or who would watch this, I'm not sure who you are, but there's probably a strong chance you have no idea what this is. Um, but that's okay because I'm, I'll show you when I open it, <laughs> when I can. That'll have to wait. Um, kimchi, I know. My family knows what this is. I also am gonna cut up some of these. Cucumbers, mini cucumbers, love these, best ever. I also bought pork belly. I almost didn't, but I thought since I'm here by myself, um, I'm gonna treat myself like a queen. So, I bought... <laughs> These really nice chopsticks, okay? And there was tape on them, and so there's some residue that I'm gonna have to wash off. But other than that, I'm so excited to use these. And they literally have roses on the top, which I'm sure that's like, these are probably the most basic and traditional chopsticks. But I personally am really excited because I always have to use wooden chopsticks. I've just never ordered a real pair before and I do love to eat with them. So I'm also really excited about the matching spoon that it comes with. <laughs> I think that it's so cute together. I honestly have never been more prepared in my life to make the best meal of my life. I also, hold that thought, also bought mochi for myself because yes, these are chocolate and honestly when it comes to branding or brands of mochi ice cream, I have no idea what's what. But I saw these ones and they're the same that my sister and I bought in San Diego. And they were so good because they have chocolate chips on the inside of the chocolate ice cream. So I can't ask for a better situation. Um, the Talenti that I, my, one of my favorite Talentis is um, the double dark chocolate, which is, I have in the freezer actually. Guilty. That's pretty much all I got besides these that are drying over here. Which are these little side dish plates for like, the kimchi, the cucumber. Um, maybe I'll cook the, like, the meat in it or something. I don't know. Um, but I'm so excited because I just have been learning so much um, about different kinds of foods lately. So, right now I'm going to cut up two mini cucumbers. I'm also going to cut some green onion. I washed my cucumbers, but I need to wash these. I'm going to do probably a lot because I'm also adding it to the pot. So I'm going to cut these up. Oh shoot. Almost washed you guys there. All right. So I already opened these. I'm just gonna let these sit. Right now, I'm gonna cut the cucumbers. Now I want these in sort of bite-sized pieces. There's no need for a big knife. However, I just like to use it. So I'm gonna cut the ends off and cut them in half. 
And you saw me do this in the last video, but I'm gonna cut them the same way because I think it's the best way. I might actually make them a little bit shorter. Yeah, let's do this. And I'm gonna put it in a bowl to mix. To mix what, Becca? Well, to mix, oh gosh. This is why I don't talk and vlog. Okay, let's get myself situated here. Well, that was just more stressful than it had to be, wasn't it? That shouldn't even be such an ordeal, you know? Like, they're just cucumbers. Um, but anyways. <laughs> so, green onions, I'm gonna chop into decent sized pieces. I'm gonna use these for about everything today in my dinner. Okay, I'm gonna start cooking the hot sauce. I have not turned the heat on or anything yet, but I'm about to add some of this and this also. This and this and this at the end. Probably on medium to low heat. I'm gonna add some sesame oil. Oh shoot, that always happens to me you guys. I gotta get it together. Some red pepper paste, probably about that much, about a tablespoon and a half maybe. I'm gonna add about one teaspoon or so of oyster sauce, a little bit of soy sauce, maybe a tablespoon. To the mixture, I'm gonna put about probably a tablespoon. Maybe half a tablespoon, about there. Just throw it in. I'm gonna give that a good stir because it's, as you can see, starting to sizzle. About half a cup of water. I'm gonna mix this all together. Everything's going to dissolve into the water and it's gonna create a sauce, I believe. So let's see how this turns out. I think I'm gonna add some more water because right now it looks really potent. Like, I don't know if that's the right word to use, but like too strong. So I'm gonna add about another quarter cup of water. You know, I really should be looking at a recipe, but I just realize it's just not how I function, you know? I like to watch videos and then try to see if I can do it myself without paying too much attention to the details because I think a part of cooking is really learning just how to work with the food and understand it um, so that you can try different things all the time and try new combinations all the time. So. I am probably, in conclusion of that, I'm probably doing this all out of order, but to be honest, it's okay because I know it's going to still taste really, really good. So, my next thing I'm going to add are probably going to be my rice cakes. I'm just gonna make little bite-sized pieces. Now 
Now that I have my cucumbers in a bowl, I'm just going to add some sweet chili sauce. I'm pretty sure normally people are like heat this up, but I personally like it cold. I'm just gonna mix it. Mm-hmm. Mm, so good. Okay, the rice cakes are doing really, really well. I added the kimchi and I've let it cook for a little bit. I'm gonna add some green onion. I changed the temperature to low heat so the rice cakes don't burn. You know, I just found that my sweatshirt was stained and I'm wondering if you ever saw that. I'm just upset because no one can tell me, but that's okay. Okay, on this side of the stove, I'm gonna start um, kind of cooking the meat while this cooks. So on this little mini pan, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna start it first, put it on low heat or medium heat. I'm gonna add some oil, just a tad bit. And I'm gonna do a little bit of soy sauce. I kind of mix it up, let them become friends. Okay. The rice cakes have been sitting here for a while, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat off. Um, usually I see people add a little bit of sweetness, like sugar or something. I don't want to use brown sugar, so I'm gonna use a just the sugar in the raw little packet. First things first. So that was my dinner um, for tonight. I hope that you really enjoyed watching this video. I am gonna try to post more often and we'll just see how it goes. Um, I hope that you have the best week ever. I know school's starting this week for a lot of people, so I wish you the best of luck in everything that you pursue.